So recently I made this video here for my Instagram story and then I decided to just go ahead and post it on Reddit because I'm like, why not? And it turns out people really liked it, which I wasn't thinking was gonna happen, but I got a lot of upvotes and people were like, hey, can you make a tutorial? I'm like, doing that right now. So to all those people, this one's for you. So starting off, let me show you with the two clips I'm working with. This is the first clip and then going ahead, this here is the second clip. So to get started with this first clip, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to mask this tree line and keyframe that mask to go out of frame. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead, start masking. Now this doesn't need to be perfect, but you wanna get it as close as you possibly can, pretty much with any effect. Lots of effects, you don't have to be perfect, but the closer you can get, the better it tends to look. So with this now, as you can see, I have it masked. I'm gonna go down, hit the drop down menu, mask path, turn on keyframe, and go back a frame or two. We don't need it to start yet, so I'm just gonna bring this all the way up right there. So that's when we're gonna have it start right there. Have it drop down and just pretty much continue to mask this and get it as close as you possibly can. You're gonna have to move this one individually. And like I said, pretty much just go through until you have this mask completely out of frame. All right, so I have it masked. This here is what it looks like. It goes completely out of frame with it. Looks pretty good, um, but again, not, not exactly perfect, but that's fine because we're gonna do a few things in the end to help just kind of smooth this out and help kind of hide any rough edges with this effect. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead, control D this layer. On the second layer here, we can completely delete this mask and not delete the actual layer. So we completely deleted the mask. We can just turn off that second layer because we don't need to bother with that one for this second. Now the effect that I'm gonna need is color key. Search color key, drop it on your top layer here, the one that you masked, and just key out that sky. And bring our color tolerance up. Now, with whatever you do, if you have it where you know it starts to remove something else, just go ahead and mask that out. Make a new layer, mask that out, and then delete that color effect. So like for this roof here, what I had to do in my original video is I had to make a new layer here, put it on top, and just mask out the roof so it wouldn't delete you know, parts of the roof. But we can bring that back to about right there. That looks pretty good. Now from here, what you wanna go ahead and do is turn on that second layer again. Now remember, we deleted the mask on this layer, so now it just looks like the original video again. What we wanna do is go to Opacity. As our second video starts to come in, we're gonna keyframe our Opacity at 100, go a few frames, and then keyframe it to zero. So it's gonna go from 100 to zero gradually, and it's just kinda, of make that you know video look like it's fading in really nicely that is pretty much the basic effect but there's some things that i'm going to go ahead and add on to just help smooth it out and make it look a lot better so the first thing that i notice here is this is perfectly exposed whereas in the next shot the foreground is black so what we're going to want to do is take our two layers here two layers that are the same video select them both and hit pre-compose and move all attributes to new composition and hit OK. So whatever effect we add to this composition right here is gonna to apply to both those videos. So the first thing that I'm gonna add is curves. So I'm gonna drop that on our composition right here. What essentially we wanna do is match exposure to this bridge here. So what we're gonna do is have it again, keyframe turn on, have it normal, go a few more frames and have it get dark to just go ahead and match that bridge. All right, so now I got that adjusted. As you can see, as it gets closer and closer to the next shot, it just gets darker and darker. Now you can see with this mask here, you can actually see the edge here, which I don't wanna be able to see. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a directional blur as it goes over. So starting as it gets close right here, I'm gonna hit blur length, keyframe it. It's gonna start at zero, go a few more frames, and then keyframe it at, I don't know, let's say 70. 
that helps it quite a bit. And then I can still see a touch of a line there as it moves over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Gaussian Blur and pretty much do the exact same thing that I did with the directional blur. Keyframe, blurriness, zero. Go a few more frames and then we're gonna turn blurriness to 25. And we may need to scale up this layer just a touch because as soon as you add a Gaussian Blur, it removes a little bit of stuff around the edges. So we're just gonna scale this up by 2%. And that looks a lot better there. So now from here, the only thing that I go ahead and do is go ahead and seeing that the camera in this first shot is moving up, technically in the second shot, it should be doing the exact same thing. So starting about here, I'm gonna go and turn on keyframe for position for a second shot. And right here, when you see it stop moving up, we're gonna just slide that shot down. And then highlight our keyframes here and hit F9 on your keyboard. That's gonna turn these into easy ease keyframes. So it's gonna easily ease into that keyframe and ease out just to make it a lot smoother. As you're gonna see that shot slides down just a touch. But that is pretty much the basics of this effect. Of course, when I made the actual video, I went into like super fine detail, but that's pretty much all the effects that I used to create this transition. Now, when it comes to whatever you're gonna apply this to, you may have to tweak it here and there to make it work for your video. But like I said, that's pretty much the basics for this. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting that subscribe button down below. It really, really does help. Also, I'm running a giveaway up until I hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So hit the subscribe button and check out the first link in the description. But like I said, that's pretty much it for this one. This is the third video, third video I filmed. As you can tell, I'm probably about ready to be done. I'll see you later.